everyone, it's me Lay, and welcome to my channel. It's time for another video. And on today's video, I'd like to talk a little about what are your plans for 2017? And when I ask about plans, I'm more asking about your planning system for 2017. Um, I would also like to share what are my thoughts and what are my plans. Um, since I started having our design team for our company um, and also having a coordinators that would stay on top of the design team that really helped me a lot and that gave me a lot of time to really sit down and concentrate on my crafting and concentrate on creating you know um not just to create because i have to meet a deadline or not just to create because i have to um i have to use it for marketing you know purposes so you know creating really just for myself um so I've, I'm very grateful. I'm very grateful for my design team and also for my coordinators for helping me a lot, for giving me um, enough space to breathe and, you know, and really enjoy again. So anyways, my thoughts and my plans, I've been buying um, different planners for the last couple of weeks because I wanted to find the best system that I want to stick with for next year okay so we you know i've shared in my i'm sure in my last couple of videos i've shared my love for you know the inkwell press inserts because i love their um you know i love their papers that they use i love their inserts they use really great quality um paper because as you know i love stamping and with these inserts i have no worries about my stamping although our inks <laughs> doesn't really bleed you know in most paper so anyways um so this is one of the inserts that i'm thinking that maybe i will stick with um for next year because this is weekly so i'm looking for that weekly inserts that i really want to stick with but Although this is horizontal, um, I'm not sure if I want to try their their um, vertical system or if they do have it. I think they do. It's, I think it's called the. Is it the? Is this the flex? I'm not really sure, but I think I'm gonna um, order myself some so I can order um, so I can try that system also. And then, um, of course, we have you know you know the Aaron Condren. Um, and I actually bought this just a couple of days ago because I really want to try, you know, this system again, um, the coil thing. Um, I'm just having a hard time with having the coil because I really do stamp a lot. Although in this week, I just decorated it with stickers. But that's one thing to try as well. And then, of course, my Prima planner. I love this planner. As you can see, I've been really using this religiously. Um, the, the only thing with the uh, Prima Planner is that this is undated, okay? So if you guys are looking for dated planners or inserts, this is undated, just so you know. Um, but there are a lot of pros to having an inserts that are undated. But of course, it says the month for the monthly, but then you still don't have the dates to it. Um, but I don't mind because I really do stamp a lot and I love writing a lot. So it gives me, you know, gives me an opportunity to create. Okay, so these inserts, you will see that every month you will have monthly goals. So you have monthly goals for friends and family. You'll have goals for yourself. You have, you'll have goals for fun and adventure, health, career, and love. Okay, so I don't use that. <laughs> Maybe I should, but I don't. So this is the Frank Garcia one, which is, has the rose gold um, to it. And the papers are teal and rose gold and beige tannish color. It's not white and I love it. I really do. I thought I would not, I thought I wouldn't like it in the beginning, but you know, it grew on me and I really, really do like it. Um, so this, the weekly inserts are also undated, but like what I said, I really don't mind. I stamp a lot and I write a lot and I enjoy this planner. So 
I think I've been battling with the My Prima and also the Inkwell Press. But the thing is, I can really use both of them like what I'm using now is I have one for family and I have one for mainly just for business bills for the business you know and things like that strictly for that this one's just for family my schedule for my singing and things like you know like that so anyway so my prima planner if you haven't picked up this one yet they've been shipping out so check out your favorite retailers because they should have it um I want to point out real quick that this planner has two snap as you can see I mean no no I mean two buttons so if you want it really tight then you use that one and then if you really just if you have it chunky then you can use this button over here and I really love that small details like that are big things to me you know okay so another system that I have that I've been using as this one this is the happy planner and uh, we can I got the cover <laughs> this is so big as you can tell Boink. <laughs> it's just so big sometimes it takes so much space in my desk but it's so pretty that I cannot not use it it's too pretty the happy planner has awesome plan um, awesome inserts for stamping you know and I I I love it. I love that there's so much space um, for decorating, um, but it's just gigantic. And I don't like their mini one because I don't like lined. So I don't prefer that lined weekly, although the ankle press is lined. So that's kind of what's stopping me also from using that. But look at this um, monthly view. I mean, it's there just the monthly you can put in so much information you know so that's another planner to consider for next year okay so and then i also bought the day designer for next year and i love the day designer i love the daily okay um because with what i do for work this one really works well for me because I do a lot of, let's say, changes, you know, customer changes. Hey, um, this was missing in my order, or can we change this one, or we, can we combine shipping for this one and this one? So there's a lot of information, and there's a lot of changes in my daily. So weekly planning doesn't really work all the time for me just because there's so much changes. So with this one is I have every single day you know so you have your monthly view and then starting from there then you have your daily okay so on your daily you actually have the tops the top three today's top three and then you have today which is from starting from five o'clock in the morning till nine o'clock at night and then you have your to do here with bullet list and you have notes section and you have daily gratitude section but again, you don't really have to use that format if you don't want to. You can just put sticker on it and do whatever you want. But I just love the space for the daily because like what I've mentioned, this is something that I think I really am going to stick with for next year when it comes to business, especially the daily edition. Okay, so and it's big enough. There's a lot of space in here. So I think this is what's going to keep me organized for next year. And this year I've learned a lot when it comes to business side, how I should handle things much better and how should I organize more. So many things that I really want to um I really want to focus on for next year so this one might not even be decorated at all you know this one will just be solely just used for planning and just really my system that says these are the sh <laughs> these are the things that you need to take care of today so you know so i think this will be my best friend for next year um my day designer when it comes to my business side working stuff and all that it's all going to be there okay so when it comes to journaling um journaling and drawing and things like that i've ordered um well i'm still using my traveler's notebook and i've been actually playing also um so we have something going on here 
so as you can see i started my dessert december daily um but in a traveler's notebook edition so just a little journaling right here and there it's so cute and then that one and then that one so i think when it comes to scrapbooking and journaling you know with photos and things like that i think i'm gonna stick to this system i actually started also a december daily that is more of an album style the project lifestyle um but i think after december i don't think that i can keep up with that type of scrapbooking it's just i don't know there's the pressure of keeping up with it you know but as as to my traveler's notebook it's kind of like i will when i can you know kind of like that so but it's something that it's still going to keep it intact you know the notebooks are going to be safe so that's something that the kids can you know i don't know flip through when they grow up and they see all the pictures and the memories that i have made you know for them or for myself <laughs> and then lastly but not the least of course my hobonichis did you get a Hobonichi for next year? I am so excited to use this. I have two, okay? I got the A6, which is in English. I've never had one before. Um, so I've been using Hobonichi for two years now, but for the two years, I have the cousin size, which is the A5 size. And last year, I used the Avic, um, which is from January to June, I believe, and then July to December. Um, January to June, I was religiously doing it every single day. And then after that, July, you know, it started falling apart. But I don't know. I've just been so busy and I'm not proud of it for not keeping up with it because that's truly something that I did, I do, and I did enjoy. So I just don't know which one to use. The A6, you know, which is the, um, the smaller, uh, or if I want to do the cousin again which is the a5 size um so i i still don't know but i got both because i wanted to see what would work for me okay so i have this too and this is the one that i'm looking forward to the most um when it comes to journaling for next year because um i want to share with you guys again you know our monthly flip throughs of our hobonichi because that's really something i really did enjoy sharing with all of you um other than the planning sometimes the planning part is kind of like the plan with me videos it's more like i really can't put you know really private information in there but i know you guys pick up a few inspiration when i do my stamping and just kind of layer layering stuff in there so i will try and do that also but please let me know um what kind of videos do you you know would you like for me to do for next year more of you know if it's whether it's um doing my calligraphy hand letterings or whether it's more doodling more kind of sharing you know process of planning or whatever it is please let me know so i can work on that because i really want to want to want to focus on blah 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 i really want to focus on youtube for next year and um also grow our community here and also before i go um please share with me also what kind of system you're going to use for next year any thoughts and any suggestion you know for me it would be really helpful um also may you do me a favor pretty please okay so my kids started um their youtube channel um and my son has been doing videos on youtube and he's been they've been really wanting to do this but since i've gotten busy i haven't had time to help them out with editing and you know filming them but this is something that they want to do um so if you could pretty please do me a favor i will post a link down below to their youtube channels if you could please subscribe to them you don't have to keep watching their videos but subscribe to them they truly are you know they they look at their channel every day i'm like i didn't even ha i don't even have one subscriber so so it's kind of like if you could please do that for me as a christmas present that would be greatly appreciated thank you so much and so anyways again um my name is Leigh, and i'm looking forward to growing this community here on youtube and 
to looking forward to be uploading more videos for everyone um, just help me kind of categorize or kind of let me know which ones I should focus on or maybe I should just do everything right but anyways thank you for watching and thank you for listening to my blibber blabbers and I will see you guys on the next video bye